Another good looking beer. It almost reminds me some similar, it was maybe shade shade of uh, the New England Juice Bomb, that grapefruit flavor, color, I should say, associated with the New England Juice Bombs. And uh, it's not, a little bit on, on the, this beer here, it's, uh, it's kind of going to say, it, it's basically the lemon, the natural lemon and lime flavors in this, I, I understand it, it, it's kind of uh, going to probably dominate the flavor, maybe I guess so forth. I mean, being, I don't know about the gluten part now, uh, the saying it's gluten free, craft remove gluten, and basically what gluten free beers are, basically means that um, it's beer just without gluten. Uh, specifically when they spit out the gluten, the beers, they're brewed with gluten-free grains, such as the rice, the corn, the sorghum, the millet, the quinoa, the buckwheat, that kind of stuff that people have been putting in brewers. The brewmaster are putting those in beers. And that's what they're talking about, about uh, basically gluten-free. Now, I always say when I'm with my wife in the stores, in the... Uh, Kind of barrister to aggravate. I say glutton. Oh, there's something that's glutton free. <laughs> she gets upset. But anyways, <laughs> glutton. It's gluten free. That's what we have for this beer here. I've never had one, so this would be interesting to try. So let's see what we have here. All right, we got a. Oh, what a smell! It it it, it is. The lemon comes right right out. That is a dominant smell. The aroma is of malt, lime. I'm getting lime. That is really coming out. The lime. I think maybe hop. That a bit of hoppiness. Maybe. Or is it herbal? Let me herbal that the flowery smell. A bit of malt. Citrus for sure. And as I'm really uh, sniffing here like a bloodhound. Let me, let me uh, give a taste. Let me give a taste. Sometimes you taste it, you get better aromas. Bottoms up. Oh. Oh. A lemon. Definitely a lemony sweetness. Mmm. That comes right across. Uh, very lemony sweetness and the sweetness. It's not a cloyingly sweet. It's a. Uh, No, no sourness. Kind of a, a wheat cracker. And now as I'm uh, drinking it, I'm getting the kind of like that malt, malt aroma. The wheat that uh, when you have a wheat beer. Try the true flavors of being gluten free. Maybe. Yes. No. But definitely the the lemon. Lemon uh, dominates on the flavor. The mouthfeel is crisp. Uh, it would make a great shandy. I mean, it's a 3.2% ABV. I didn't get what hops or IBUs are in this. They're kind of holding that to the vest. Mm. It's um, almost, I would assume, a balanced beer if you like a shandy with the prominent flavor of the fruit that's in it, this being the lemonade. Mm. But it is a lager. It's got that crispness. It's a balanced beer. No hoppiness, no sweetness, other than this kind of lemon and that time the lemony sweetness that comes out of this. So uh, basically what they say, this is a, a pale lager, but by American uh, Brewers Association, it's a fruit slash vegetable beer with 145 calories from Spain. It's a Spanish beer. Well brewed. They've, they've done something right all these years that they've done it. I enjoy it. It's nice. Uh, what I am... Uh, Get it again? Yeah, I would get it having a barbecue or something in that fashion. I would get it again. Uh, would it become a regular uh, drinking beer in my uh, portfolio of brews? No, it wouldn't. I would not uh, 
I would not have actually want to put this in the ranks of being uh, a regular drinking beer in my there's so many other beers that I enjoy um, I would not I would not um, put that as an everyday brew I would get it though and have family and friends over and I would get probably a six pack um, and see how that goes if people liked it then from then on I would get more but uh, no it would be a regular lineup so with that said, folks, enjoy the day. Gonna drink, drink responsibly. Ciao.